Hello friends, today we are going to discuss how to write a flowchart to check given character is vowel or consonant. And for this we require one input variable that is in the form of character. And to read character we will use same mechanism as we have used for integer. Enter character variable name is C. Now the enter character will get stored in the C. We have to compare this character with five letters that is A E I O E. If this C is from that A E I O E, then we can say that it is a vowel. But we have to consider small case and capital case separately. So total we will be having ten characters for the comparison. So we have to write ten conditions using this selection. So I will write first condition C equal to equal to A. Here you can see I have written this character inside double quote. While writing C program, we are using single quote to specify a character and double quote to specify a string. But Raptor doesn't differentiate between character and string. It uses double quote for character as well as for string. So here we are using double quote. Next condition that we will use, write using logical OR operator. So six C equal to equal to E or C equal to equal to I or C equal to equal to O or C equal to equal to U. Here we have used this small list letters. Now I will copy these conditions I will replace these letters with capital letters. So for capital A capital E, capital I, capital O and last one is capital E. So total we have used 10 comparison conditions. Now if this condition is true means if given character is from this 10 characters then we can say that it is vowel. So I will write the output here, I will simply put here vowel and then else not evolving. So write a message not a bow. So we'll see the execution. So I'll enter here capital O. You can see the output is bow. Now I'll repeat this and I'll enter some other character let's say x. So output is not a bow. So here we have written these conditions to check enter character is vowel or not. If that enter character is not, not a vowel, then we have to write a condition to decide whether it is consonant or not. So we will drag this selection method and put here. So if this is false means enter character is other than this 10 characters, then only we will go for checking whether it is consonant or not. And for this we will write condition. The character must be greater than or equal to small a and character less than or equal to small z. So this is one condition that will decide whether the character is means the character is present from a to b, which is we have considered as in small letter case. Now we will write these conditions for capital letter. So C greater than equal to capital E and C less than equal to capital C. So from these two conditions we can say that C is present between A to Z and or capital A to Z. So I will just drag this output symbol and put here and I will replace the message that is consonant. If this is false, means if character is not a vowel, not a consonant, we can, then we can say that character is either spatial symbol or digit.
I will execute this program one more time. So this time I'll enter capital A. So it displays character is over. So this clear this output window. I'll repeat it one more time. Now I will enter character capital G. So we can see the output it is consume. Now we'll execute it one more time and we will enter some special symbol. Let's say it is track. So it says it is special symbol or digit. So in this in this way we can draw a flow chart to check inter character is vowel, consonant or special symbol or digit. Thank you.